They called me the other day about Charleston White. They wanted Charleston White to fight. Um, you're gonna drop little, dead. Little you're gonna drop dead in the middle of that ring. But I said, nah, you should let him. Boosie and Charleston White. I said, yo, Boosie will whoop Charleston White. <laughs> Do you think there's really a guy in Dubai who's offering Lil Dirk fifty million to fight six nine, or you Thank think that that was made up? Definitely. Fifty million. Yeah, I mean, I could see it. Well, a year and a half ago, they were up to twenty million. Right. When I tried to get the blue face fight, actually fifteen million. They were five. He wanted twenty. Six nine versus Dirk is about as big as it gets, right? Um. I mean, there might be a few that are bigger, but that would be about as big, big as it gets. For That'd you, six nine turned it down in the DMs, but for you as his manager, would you advise him I don't to take that? Six nine. You don't. What is it? I do business with six nine. Okay. So if you had a proposal for him, I can call 6 9 and get it to him direct. He'll yes or no me. If it's yes, then I'll send it to the proper channels, get my cut, he gets his cut, and that's it. You think Dirk would whoop 6 9 Um, I don't know. I, I If I had to bet my money on somebody, see, this is the thing. 6 9 crazy enough to go in there and rumble. Right. He has less Dirk to lose. Dirk's going out boxing. Dirk's at the top of his career. Yeah, Dirk's going out boxing. Hmm. If 6 9 get a lucky one in, you know what? 6 9 wouldn't even have to win. If he can just stun Dirk one time, Dirk could whoop 6 9s ass the rest of the fight. And the no, only thing people are going to talk about is that lucky punch. Right. And 6 9 knows that. You ever see 6 9 come out of the show and he's jumping up and down with the legs? That's going crazy. what I'm saying. I've never seen that sort of athleticism from Dirk. Now imagine first round, 6 9 comes out the corner with that energy, mm. a flurry at Dirk, right? And Dirk maybe wasn't ready for it. And, you know, he catches Dirk two, three times, bam, 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 and Dirk drops him. Nobody's going to give a shit about nothing else but that. Right. 6 9 knows that. Yeah. He knows that. Long as I can get a few good ones in, that's it. Yeah. But 6 9 said, let's fight for free in the hotel room. He's serious in a motherfucker. Yeah. If Dirk popped up down there and said, let's go, he's going to meet him in a row. 6 9 could probably use 50 million, though, right? Yeah, anybody can. Everybody can use 50 anybody million. Can use 50 million. Yeah. No. Is he bringing in a lot of money these days? Yep. From he what? He'll get about a half a million a show. Half a million a show. How often is he doing shows? Uh, whatever you see, does a lot of them overseas. So six nine, he's probably doing about at least he's gonna do ten shows a year. Then it's all the little shit that goes on around that you don't see right. in other countries. You got a, a case of Gene energy drinks at your crib? No. What happened to Gene? What happened to the I NFTs? I told you NFTs was bullshit. Yeah, I, I, got, said, I well, still what got the fuck one. Is the NFT? Still got a hundred fifty thousand dollar NFT. What is it worth? I think we bought it for like 150 and it's still about that. It's like 140, 150, some shit like that. So how do you get your money out of it? You list it. You put it up for sale on the NFT marketplace. What made it worth 150? It's one of these old school ones, the crypto punks. It's like very early. Jay-Z had one as his uh, Twitter picture for a while. So your NFT was up on Jay-Z's. No, but he, Jay-Z was repping one of the much more rare, much more expensive NFTs. Because, like, at a certain point, you remember how Eminem got a bored ape. Like, they were doing all this shit to, like, promote all these different NFTs by basically putting it alongside celebrities. Who's a better rapper? Who's more popular, uh, NBA or Lil Durk? Who's more popular? Well, Dirk sells more, so let's just throw that out there. Who makes better music? I don't know. I just listened to the Youngboy album. I wasn't really grabbed by too many of the songs. Kind of feels like a lot of the songs sound exactly the fucking same. I don't know. I got to I got to listen to like a new Dirk project. Like Youngboy's more musical, Dirk is more of like a good a really good drill rapper. Whereas Youngboy's like taking more chances. It's kind of hard for me to say, honestly. Who you who you a bigger fan of? Um I like both of them. I know both of them. Uh-huh. But uh NBA, I'm gonna lean towards NBA. Okay, uh, but I like this new song that uh, Dirk has. Right. What is it, J Cole? What was it? What was it? Oh, that Dirk song with uh, J Cole, which is interesting because Bootleg Kev just went viral for basically saying that Dirk has never had a real hit. Which, if you think about it, there's a lot of truth to that. He's never had like that crazy blockbuster hit. When you look at that song, it sounds like a fucking gospel record. They got this really catchy hook on it. You got J Cole on it. 
It's like they're doing everything possible to make oh, no, bro. a huge Dirk record right they're there, right? They're making neck on Spotify. Right now? Dirk's a million up. Well, Dirk released one song last night. Young Boy released a whole project. But this is the thing with Young Boy. He don't market shit. He just mm. throw it out. Yeah. I think if Young Boy allowed the label, gave them their little 21 to 30 days of setup time, mm -hmm. The numbers will be different. Young boy's behaving like a goddamn tweaker on on Twitter and whatnot. What do you, what do you mean? You gotta come. You gotta be a little screaming wait, into on. the camera. Hold on. You just... gotta be a little. See, you can't do that. What? Because tweakers is what y'all do. The young boy's not a tweaker. That's I'm not saying he's energy. actually smoking meth that's or anything. I'm just saying he's kind of behaving erratically. It's kind of out that's, there. That's always been his energy. Yeah, I don't know. It always. You don't remember like that's. But it feels like something energy. has kind of changed. Who? Oh. He's calling Dirk out by name on Twitter over and over and over. You remember when he was doing this whole Stop the Violence campaign, like, Yo. very recently? <laughs> yeah. He right. had a Billboard article that was like, oh, yeah. And 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 we were all getting into it. I remember I did a Mr. Fab interview, and we're sitting there talking about how young boy is changing up, up his shit and how he doesn't want beef anymore. He doesn't want to be on all this violent shit. And now here we are. No. um, We were praising him for... Turning another cheek. Yeah, he was saying like. Uh, Turns out it was music. all cap. Yeah. I don't think it was cap. Well, he's really threatening Dirk on social well, that's media. that's an individual. So. Right. That doesn't mean because he was talking about like his fans, like the type of music he was putting out. He was kind of like starting to feel some way about it. Right. But I think, you know what? I blame academics for this shit, bro. And he's all up fuck that. Let's get into it. Academics started this shit. Because he said that Dirk and Young Boy squashed the Dirk beef. He said Dirk and Young Boy squashed the beef. Right now, yet granted, they've already had their problems, uh -huh. right? But it looked to me like they was kind of like, you know, I'm gonna respect your space. You respect mine. Cool. You didn't hear anything. Right. When academics came and said, NBA Young Boy and Dirk squashed their beef, it forces one of them to say, No, the fuck we didn't. So then when one says, responds, if the other one doesn't say anything, it starts to look like in the eyes of the people, mm -hmm. oh, you're a little punk, you scared, or whatever. So then Dirk responds, I just don't stream on YouTube, some shit. Right. So then now NBA responds. Academic started. For this one, academic needs his ass whooped. That's my brother. I fuck with him. Who should whoop his, his ass? ass whoop. Um, Everyone involved? Nope, because <laughs> they would really try to hurt him. Okay. They really try to hurt him. But you I think, think Youngboy deserves a fade? No, I, no, no. I think we should let Wallow whoop.